Hello and welcome. I'm going to make a little card today that looks like the front of a book. So I've got an A6 card here and I've gone ahead and got some bits and pieces all ready to use on it. So I'm glad you've joined me and if you've never been here before, don't forget if you do enjoy this video I'd love you to subscribe to my channel and also I'll be adding some affiliate links down at the bottom and I just want to thank anybody who's already bought from those. I do appreciate that. It doesn't cost you any more, but I do get a little commission from those sales. Now, this image that I have used here is the Godisha Digi image from my own website, Ruth Hamilton Design, and the link to that will be down below as well. So what I've done is I've downloaded it and then sized it, and then I've coloured it in, and I've used these um, alcohol markers from Tonic Studios to do that. So I've used the Delicate Rose and Pink Lady for the actual flower itself. Bright sunflower in the centre and then I've layered up two or three layers of the pea pod green um, for the, the buds, the stem and the leaves. So I've gone ahead and done that and then if you've seen any of my cards before you'll know that I do love to fussy cut those images out. So I've done that too. Now the other thing is that with alcohol markers then there's usually some comes through to the other side so it's better not to do it straight onto the card anyhow. So there we are, that's that ready. I've taken some of this Sage Roses paper. It's actually a speciality card from Tonic Studios as well and I've cut it exactly to the size of the card blank that I'm using. This is an A6 card blank and this is exactly the same size. I've gone ahead and I've marked some little areas on this here so with this steel ruler, I just find that handier being steel because I'm going to cut with it as well in a, se in a second or two. Not cut with, with it, but use it as a guide. So I've gone down 0.5. I think you should, yeah, you can see there. I'll just come in a little closer. So this is the piece of card that's going to get glued on the front of the actual card blank. I have marked down half a centimetre from here and I've drawn a line right across the top there and I'm going to cut across that until this point. So this point here is half a centimetre from the top and half a centimetre in from the side and that's where this line stops. Then I've gone down two centimetres from the top and I've marked right along until this point and this point is two centimetres from the top and two centimetres from the side. So I have Mark that point and then now I'm just going to remove this mat and get onto my glass mat and uh, cut this piece out here and then I'll glue that onto the, the card blank. That's that piece ready now and before I glue that on what I want to do is mark a line in here at two centimetres across and go straight down from there. I'll just do that here. And that's going to be a score line from I'll move it over there. From this point this point and what I want to do there is fold that back and then I'm going to add some definition just along that edge there because that would be on an actual book that would be the part where the spine would be there. So I've got some brown ink here and a little dauber and I'm going to add some ink along this edge and down round here.
and then I'm going to glue this onto the card front. Always remember to check that you've got the card facing the right way because that would just be a bit of a mess if you got all got that far and then put it on the wrong way around. So there we are. So now I want to go in two centimetres from each corner here, from each side at the corner, sorry, and just mark, leave a little mark there, and turn that around and go two centimetres there. And that's obviously just at that corner. Then we're going to do the same here. So we've got two centimetres already marked there, and you want to put another little mark there. So that one will be parallel to this one and now all we're going to do is cut that off and that off. And then I'll add some more of this ink just along that edge. Maybe a little across here too because that's where the pages are going to be and they might be a little, well, what looks like pages. So there we are, that looks like a little book already. Now I've got uh, my steel ruler again. I suppose you could use any ruler for this one, but I just find that's pretty sturdy. So, And I've got a very, very fine embossing tool here, and I'm just going to score some lines across that. Probably be better if I just do it singly. Uh, and these are just to look like pages so they don't have to be just exactly perfect they could be but you want them kind of straight across there that looks pretty cute doesn't it so there we are I don't think I'm going to need that ink again so I'll just close that over and then that's our little notebook card yeah, that's nice. And I'm going to stick that down with some of this Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. And the card now looks like a little notebook or a little address book or something, I think, but just a, a different shape of a card. Now, the next thing I want to do is to make that look more like a book, I am going to make a little bookmark to go inside. So I've taken a piece of card here and this is 13 and a half by three and a half centimeters. And this piece of paper, which just a, a piece that I had left over, but it kind of matches in with that. And that's three by 13. I'm going to glue that on here. And then I'll show you how to add this all together so that it doesn't just fall out of the card at the end. Now we want that bookmark to go inside there, so this is three and a half centimetres. Okay, so I'm going to make a little part, a little slit here that's going to be about four centimetres wide. There's my craft knife, so I'm just going to go across where one of these pages is. And you want to remember that it's got to sort of go across here slightly, so we'll do that about there. Um, and just go just slightly more than three and a half so that that now you'll know the bookmark should fit comfortably in that and be able to come in and out of it all right so we're just going to have to make that slightly wider And then you can slide the bookmark down inside. Now you don't want the bookmark wobbling about on the inside of that. So just hold it so that it's kind of 
parallel down the side there and then I've got another little piece of card here and I'm just going to add a little, I could glue this but I'll just put a little bit of double sided tape on here and here and that leaves enough room for this to fit down in so the bookmark can come out and in if you want and then we'll just put this over and that would go about there just to keep that so there's enough tucked down the bottom and there's your little card isn't that cute? and then just as a finishing touch I've added uh, three little sequins from three little prickly pear sequins there they are, they're Nouveau ones, and I've taken the little B die, that's this one, from the Country Jug die set. I do think I use that rather a lot, but I do like it. And um, I'm just going to add that. I actually always like to add, not always, but quite often, a little butterfly or a bee um, onto a flower card. I think it's just a nice little finishing touch. So that goes on there, and I've just put the glue, as you saw there, on the body, and keep the wings turned up and there we are that's it so thanks very much for watching and i'll be back again soon with more in the meantime keep safe and well bye bye